Welcome to another Premiere Pro 2017. In this video, we're going to be creating this what you just see on my screen. Have you ever is creating motion graphics in Premiere Pro? Let me show you another project that I created only in Premiere. Good play. This is what I create only in Premiere. If I have a likes and comments, so I'll be creating this in the future. So make sure like the video and subscribe and leave a comment so i'll be making this um, video tutorial in case i don't see anything so i'm not making okay so let me jump into my premiere i already have this uh, composition called main 30 frames per second 1920 by 1080 i have this background grid background if you want to know how to create this grid background make sure to check out this tutorial the link will be in the description so let me go back to my premiere here let me just uh, pick the rectangle shape tool let me just drag you know this, you can have any color you like. Let me have my favorite color actually that I had in my preview. So let me just minimize this, copy this color, change, paste, you know, and then hit OK. Make sure the selection tool is selected. Let me just open this screen, you know, just drag this. Let me fit and let me just go 100%. Because it's a little annoying this, let me just go in here. Just make sure, you know, it's, uh, make sure fit and count. Let me, now what we need to do is go and pick the pencil tool, hitting the P on the keyboard. You see it change. So let me go and, you know what, let me just go this side down on the right bottom and then holding down shift, we're going to move. Inside, you know, make sure just to have a reference. There's a little uh, plus in here. You see, that's why I turn off. I mean, turn on the same margin, so you can do it as well. And also, we need to go on the left top, holding down Shift. We need to do the same. Okay. Once we have this, let me close this. And what we need to do is let me fit this. I mean, fit and comp now 10%. And this is what we have. Let me pick my selection tool. Go to uh, make sure it's selected. Let me just rename this maybe big bottom. And we're going to animate it from left to right. So let me go to my, let me just make sure it's selected. I don't know why it's not showing. Oh, my control effects not showing over here. Let me just see. Okay, there we go. Let me go close this appearance and let me make sure copy this value. Command C to copy, and we're gonna go make sure it's at the beginning on the timeline. Just pull to the left side, and we're gonna add a keyframe. Go one second long, and we're gonna go and copy the value that we had. Hit enter, and this is what we have. Cool. And now we're gonna smooth out the animation. Let me open this. Let me just pull this out a little bit and drop this down. Make sure. Don't forget to put it back on after you finish. Let me just pull this up, this down. So we want to just start fast and then end slow. So let me just put this back in. Okay, let me close and see what we have. This is what we have. Okay, so we made one second long animation. So let me go three seconds because we need two seconds, enough time to see whatever it has on the image or the text. So let me just go add another keyframe go one frame one second long one more second long so it will be four right and let me just pull this to the right okay let me just loop this actually it's loop and let me play and see what we have okay this is what we have nice so let me go and Duplicate this. Actually, let me just duplicate. Right-click, duplicate, and we're gonna rename this image mask. Okay, and let me just turn off this. Once we have this, we need to duplicate two more times this big bottom. So I'll duplicate, and duplicate. Make sure this image mask is on the top, and we're gonna rename this center and and top, bottom, center, and top. Okay, what we need to do now is maybe change the color. We need this color on the top. The center might need a little brighter. 
on the bottom are brighter than the center. But the color is up to you. You can change the color. So we don't see anything yet. What we're going to do is go to my effect and control. Make sure go to frames, not seconds. Go to frames. Let me open my effect control. And we're going to just pull all those keyframes. The center. Remember the big center. Right there. Close this. Go two more frames. Will be four. And we're going to open this again. And we're going to pull those this top shape just pull two seconds i mean two frames more than the center and you will see the effect let me see what we have you see we got this this and the last on the top okay once we have this we need to go back to my um effect control make sure to have where the you know where the top in this case you see this is the top and the animation right here, not ends before and this one. Then we need to go back and so we got three seconds, four frames. We're gonna go and add a two more frames, will be six in this case, and go back to my effect control and just move those two last keyframes. Okay, then go back to timeline, two more seconds will be, I mean, frames will be eight, and go back to my effect and control and pull those last keyframes which will be the bottom you see and let's see what we have let's press enter on the keyboard and this is what we have it comes in it stays two seconds and goes out you see on the effect both sides now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate those uh, image masks two more times like we did down here just duplicate and duplicate and we're going to rename the same bottom center and top. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot. I don't have to do this step yet. Let me delete this. Delete this and just leave this bottom. And what we're going to do is turn off those big shapes. And make sure this is 30% opacity. And we're going to pull this out. Let me go and pull this window out. Up, I mean open. And we're going to make sure select it and hit P on the keyboard. So just to change this. We're going to just, uh, you see, that's why. Let me just put 100% in here. In the count position. And go up here. We're going to do all those four sides. You know, just pull in five squares. That's what I suggest to create this grid background. Let me hold it on shift. And I'm going to pull in five squares you see okay and this is what we have all uh, this uh, four sides we pull in five squares so let me close this window pick the selection tool and go 100 percent opacity and we might need to change the color just to have a reference for now and let me fit and come. Let me turn on those layers or shapes. And this is what we have. You see? So this green we will use as a mask. So what we're going to do is change the same color that we have on the bottom here. I mean on the top. We're going to change. Let me copy this color. And we're going to change to this mask. Just to have the same color. You will see what. Copy. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same steps we did with this bottom center and top on the effect control. Remember, we should have like this. Let me close this and show you. Just forget about this. This Let me just, you see this shape kind of like small b? That's the way we need to do on the uh, mask. Just duplicate three more times. Dupl duplicate. Duplicate. And rename the center top so i'm gonna i'm not gonna spend the time doing this because you already know how we did on those big shapes so i'm gonna pause the video and come back when i finish you know renaming and also going every every two frames moving the keyframes remember we did with the big shapes so i'll be back
Okay, I'm here back. I finished doing the same way we did with the big shapes. Let me turn off those big shapes, turn on the little shapes, the small one in this case, and you will see the same effect that we made with the big shapes. You see, it doesn't see because it has the same color on the top. And let me open my effective control and you will see what we have. The same that we had on the big shapes. You see the same shape like a small B. So don't confuse, do the same thing, just follow the steps. Now, what we're gonna do, let me just turn on those uh, big shapes and this is what we will have. So let me go and go out and have this shape. When it comes in, it comes like this. We might need to change the same color that we have on the big shapes. So let me go bottom. I mean top, this should be top, rename top. Let me rename it. This should be center. And let me change the color, the same that we have on, let me see. Okay, let me see. This top should be the same color. The center should be this that we have in here. And the bottom should be this that we have in here. And this is what we have. Okay, once we have this, we need to duplicate this three more times. So let me duplicate, hold it on ship. I mean option Mac two more times and we're gonna call this right click and we're gonna rename this text mask. And this we're gonna call or rename image mask. And this we're gonna call background. BG colors, let's do BG colors. Hit okay. And then let me just pull this up and go to my effect, I mean, on my project panels. I already have this uh, image 001. I just created one sequence and pull the image and resize. And also I added um, the effect called black and white. If you don't want, you can just leave it right there. And we're gonna animate this the same way we did with the uh, shape. So let me go. Uh, zero frames and we're gonna go and motion. Let me just uh, copy this value and just pull to the left. Hold it on shift, you can pull. And we're gonna add a keyframe, go one second long and just paste the value that we had. And this is what we have. So go two more seconds, will be three in this case, one plus two, so three and add another keyframe. Actually, you know what, before doing this, we need to smooth out the animation. Let me drop this down, open this window. Let me just pull this out, pull this up, this down. Beautiful. Then let me close this, then go three seconds. I shall already have three seconds. So let me add another keyframe. Go one more second, will be four in this case, and just pull out. Hold it on shift, you can pull out. And this is what we have. Okay, once we have this, we need to go back to my main and pull the image onto my timeline, the image that we just animate. And make sure it's selected. Actually, you know what? Let me select all those uh, layers and go nested camp, right click nested camp and call hold it one. Hit enter. And let me just go in double click and make sure the image is selected. Let me go to effect and look for my favorite track mat. Double click, make sure it's selected image and then go mat video four. We don't see anything. We just disappear the image and we're gonna go and uh, put this in baseball maybe. And this is what we have. But we need to do something else. Go in my uh, image mask, make sure it's selected. Go in my essential graphics. If you don't see this, you should go window. Make sure the essential graphic is selected. And what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go and delete the bottom, center, and top, the big, the big ones. And this is what we have. And also we might need to delete the, no, let's leave in there. So let's see what we have. Nice, this is what we're looking for now. The last thing what we need to do is the text. So remember we did this uh, text mask, it's the same thing. We need to go, add a, uh, text. make sure it's deselected, 
this down here and go text, add a new text and add another layer. So let me just pull this down, make sure that it's at the beginning. And let me just rename this maybe Nera Studio, my favorite. If you want, you can do Nera Studio as well. <laughs> and maybe a little larger, maybe 150. And also you can choose any font you like, but in my case, I'm going to leave this Minimum Pro. Align to the center. And also a little more bigger. So let me see, go 1670. Align to the center. Then what we're going to do is make sure this is visible. Select this. You see something wrong here. Nothing happened. Just wait. Select this mask, go to effect, add a track mat again, double click unit to add, and then we will see on the effect control. Let me see, we got video six, and this is what we have. My computer is playing a little slow because I've been working a lot with my computer. And you will see the effect. Actually, you see, let's uh, just show you the same effect. The image is cutting a little bit, so we need to go in here. And maybe, you know, I don't know, you have to arrange in here just to fast or slow the image so you will fix this. So let me go to my main and this is what we have. So let me just delete this background and add a create and Photoshop this pattern background. If you want the description, I mean, the link will be in the description or you can add any solid color or our image. Also, you can add as background. So let me just see. Maybe let me just render and see what we have. Hit enter to render. And this is what we have, you see. The only thing is we need to, you know, the image, it's a little fast. So we can go and maybe, you know, go to my image. Actually, as I said, make sure this image selected, go inside, open this. And we might, actually, you know why? Because I haven't put this back. Add if, um, let me see, put in this back in. Remember, don't forget. So let me see and what we have now. We should, we should fix the problem. You see, we don't see anything there. When it goes out, we don't see anything actually. We might see in here. So that's uh, because it's a little, the image is going fast. So let me go back to and move and move this out, those last keyframes and see what we have. So that's the way you can change or fix the problem. So you see, and let's see when it goes out. Okay, and we don't see that problem anymore. That's the way I create this, uh, you know, project. So let me open again. You see, this is the way I create that. And as you know, let me show you also, you can just, uh, you know, create the same with different colors. Let me go and open this test, I guess. Play. And this, you see, with different colors. It's up to you. You can add any color you like. Okay, so let me just pull up my website again. And let me see, show you, this is where you can download the project. Well, the project will, won't be available. But you can download the latest uh, loaders or templates for Premiere Create only in Premiere. You see the screenshots in here, so the link will be in the description. So make sure go and download those, which I used. And this one, you see? As I said, it was created only in Premiere. If you like the video and leave a comment, I will be making this full project. Okay, so this is all for today. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And see you next time.